All right, people, welcome back. More Link. Well. All right, so this is Season 1, Week 6, Match 4. This is the last match of the week for Week 6. So what do we have today? We have the Kai White Dragons, Ryan, whose decks are Klee, Infernoid, and Constellas, and has 4 points. Versus the same Cyber Dragon, Slate, who has Heroes, Blackwings, and Dustins, and has three points. Okay. There we go. And this is not a divisional match. So, as you guys can tell by the title, we are having a Tier 1 off. So, we have them Heroes versus them Klees. So, it is pretty much a race against time. Because, of course, uh, when it comes to heroes, you gotta, you know, well, Slate's heroes were, or aka okay, Electrum FTK or OTK or whatever the hell he wants to call it. Fucking yeah, because it has not been doing as as well as like, I don't think I don't think I don't believe Slate has won a single match with this. I don't deck. believe he has. I don't believe he has won a single match. He probably would done better with OTK heroes. That's what I'm saying, and especially against Cleese, because you know. That but bank hey, wall would have been gave, great. We gave Slate Acid the option. Been great. Yeah, we gave Slate the option. And we even asked the viewers. Yep, and uh, you guys had decided that, you know, let him do his Electrum FTK. So hopefully he does well with it. But, uh, you know, I think regular heroes. With Stratos being able to just, you know, amount of heroes that you have, pop that back row, that's good. Uh, you know, Dank Wall's good. Uh, Acid's mm -hmm. good, actually. And uh, in... The regionals, because of course, if you guys know, I went to regionals. Ryan also went. Uh, he actually got two would by heroes. Damn. <laughs> oh, because oh, he just fucking uh, acid. Acid, scales. acid, Denkla, acid, Denkla. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so definitely, OCG heroes would have been much better than uh, what we're seeing now. So we saw that OCG into the void. Would have been much better. Yeah, we saw that into the void, and I really didn't like that play too much. And it didn't do. Anything really. You know, the, the Thunder Dragons, like, I guess. Like, meh. So, uh, it looks like Slate's definitely set up. Um, you know, we're assuming that, of course, that set card is definitely going to be that fusion gate. You search for it with terraforming. There's nothing else that fil that face down fil spell card <laughs> could be. Uh, and we're assuming that there's a chain material face down. So, uh, the, is the FTA going to happen next turn? Yeah. So, of course, we see uh, Ryan go ahead and play that. Uh, out. So one of the things that uh, Ryan could definitely pull off with, I think would be a really good play, is to hopefully maybe go ahead and uh, maybe Pendulum Summon, yeah, the Helix, and then Tribute it. And then Helix Effect, go ahead and destroy the set. Field Spell. So huh? Field Spell, that would definitely be a great play to go ahead and stop the Electrum FTK. And like I said, it's just, it has not been doing well. It's like, oh, it doesn't look like that's going to be a play, because there is the normal summon. Looks like there's not going to be maybe a Pendulum Summon, not sure, but there's the normal summon of the helix so maybe all right uh hopefully ryan has something back there maybe some msts maybe uh maybe uh there's a handful of cards that can go ahead and stop slate especially in cleave you know not only the msts but there's also lose one turn because as soon as uh the electrum hits the field its effects will be negated it's gonna have defense it, yeah, and then it can't shuffle the shit back yep there's fiendish chain who can negate and you know there's uh vanity's emptiness there's there's so many cards so many cards that can go ahead Probably and the worst deck for Slate's heroes to go against. Definitely. Probably one of them, if not the worst. Oh, oh and yeah. there oh. is the Vanities, people. There's one of the cards that we named about that can just completely turn off uh, Slate's deck. So pretty much, uh, it's a race against time now on Slate's part. Without being a special summon, there is no Electrum FTOT any K, because there's no summoning at all. Yeah. What, about, what about Electrum KKK? <laughs> <laughs> well, like new, Electrum, new scoop new it up. New elemental hero for you. Electrum, KKK, Jaden goes racist, plot twist. Because <laughs> this is just, because mm, it's a race against time. Hopefully Slate Jaden, be... Jaden becomes like um, out of GTA 5. He's black! So hopefully Slate will be able to maybe draw into an MST. That'd be great. Draw into an MST. Go ahead if and... Slate even mains MST, I don't uh, know. He might uh, be trying sure. to turbo it up so much he didn't main MST, which that would, that would be really foolish. That would be that would just be terrible. So we're seeing a Helix tribute for a Helix. Helix effect, go ahead and destroy. So not only is Vanity's No, just, not you the know, field spell. Interesting. I guess maybe 
uh, I guess Ryan feels like the Phil Spell's not a threat right now, and he'd rather go ahead and clean up any possible back row that can go ahead and hit him like a mirror force, hit, a set mirror force, maybe? Mm. But I mean, even if you mirror force, it's just going to go to the back row. That yeah, mean, that's even more pressure. You can't just simply just throw like a Dark Hall Regeki at him right, and move on and let the Vanities go away. It's even more difficult against Cleese because they're going back to the extra deck. We, well, of course, all know that when Vanities had three and Cleese were like the main culprit of Floodgates, you know, with triple Vanities and triple uh, Skill Drain, even before Lose One Turn came out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good times, good times. No, it uh, wasn't. No. no. <laughs> the thing I'm wondering is maybe, uh, you know, we've been talking about this a little bit but you know with the new monarch cards what monarchs can do uh maybe possibly seeing uh maybe Cleese fuse with a, little, a couple of the monarch spells and traps you know what i could also see happening as well what's up i could see um bloody necros if they get hit really fucking hard I could see them actually becoming a Gishki Necros deck, or at least using some Gishki cards, because it's for water ritual monsters. Yeah, you know, even banning... Not Gishkis. Yeah, even I mean, when, the when Necros first... When Necros... Sorry to interrupt you again, but when Necros first came out, people were... That's the first thing people did with Necros when they first were, like, revealed on DevPro. They didn't have all their cards out. That's the first thing people did. They slapped in the fucking Zilgigas fucking, like, sort of consistent turbo deck, and they slapped in some Necros with Trishula and stuff like that so they could Zilgigas shuffle your shit back, and then Necros with Trishu banish your shit. Mm hmm So, they might return to that. That still worked out pretty well for them. I said, it's just, that deck is just so hard to kill. It really is. Yeah. Like I said, I still think you gotta take the teeth. I still think you gotta go dentist on it. You gotta take the teeth out. Because otherwise, what else? Otherwise, what else are you gonna hit? Oh well, I've got to hit Unicorn or one. I've got to fucking ban Shrit. I've got to go fucking hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. Like, or you can just take the teeth out of the deck and not ban or fucking limit everything. You know. It's going to have to be more than just Trish Band, though, because at least I know, but what, I'm, but what I'm saying is Trish Band, like, Valk maybe band slash to one because they can sort of fucking get cards off that, and that's never good in Necros of all decks, them getting cards. And probably uh, Gungnir as well, like, limited or semi-limited. And then that's probably, and then that's it. Like, what what the fuck did they do then? Make a Clausulus? Summon a Unicor on you? Okay, that's nice, but it's not that bad. Anyway, as we clearly saw, like, and we're got anything, scooped it up real quick, and we're moving on to game two. Oh, so yeah. So it's going to go ahead and take the first turn and hopefully be able to pull something off, at least be able to be prepared for the walling, you know? Nope, uh, so he's not going to be Scar. This is one of the worst matchups. To slight, yeah. So I went ahead and searched for Bubble Man, so maybe we'll be seeing maybe a little bit of Bubble Illusion. Yeah, with the chain material stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see the chicken game. Pay a thousand and draw. All right. Mhm. Mm so, is that what we're gonna see? Be prepared. Hopefully, maybe if uh, Slate Slugs anything like MST, definitely go ahead and be prepared because there's just so many cards. There's at least at be least prepared. five cards that can yeah. easily go ahead and turn suck off. Up. Yeah, suck them up. That's not even including, you know, fiendish chains or, you know, a, a nice tribute summon to Lex, uh, I mean, Helix. You know, well, there's... I don't know if I will be, uh, not how he's built side back to the green I don't think it's going to be All right, bit of uh, a snafu there. Yeah, a little bit of technical difficulties. Apologize about that people so what were we talking about uh yeah we were talking about slate siding we were talking about how slate built his side to smoke screen into uh hero beat and i personally think it would have been better for him to side his make his side a smoke screen into mast heroes i mean he's already running the uh the bubble man all right so we're seeing you know scale so just throw in just throw in some uh some dank law 
to swap out like the inside that to swap out to be extra that stuff throw in some friggin shadow mist throw in some mass changes inside and boom all right oh and this is a play that i definitely do not like we see uh the mst attempting to hit the scout now clearly you lost size duel because of vanities and you should know that there's a handful of other cards that can fuck you up yet you're gonna go out to the scout which really isn't even a threat to you when you really think about it. scouting is not a threat at all you pull out that electrum ftk what the fuck is Scout doing? Yeah, I know. So, I want to say that MST, or a possible Vanities, maybe a lose one turn, skill, drain, there is a handful of cards. And Slate should definitely know. There are a handful of cards. All he has to do is negate your Electrum effect, and it's over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Just negate it the first time, that's it, you're done. Pretty you much. Use some of that Electrum, out. and you're, you're, you know, your chin material with your, uh, with your uh, Fusion Gate, you banish them, but then Electrum's going to put them back, so you can just summon another Electrum, and then go into your multiple group top nexus. But as soon as you just go Electrum, banish those four, Venus Chain, or anything to negate your uh, Electrum's effect, and that's pretty much it. So, you know, we clearly saw Vanity stomp you, and you're pretty much just asking for Ryan to go ahead and do these you again. Like, straight up, Ryan has another Vanity's in his hand, and you don't got the MST. We're just going to see a repeat of what happened last duel. So definitely not the smartest yep. move. And not only that, but we saw the, the wonderful dodging of uh, Wavering Eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wavering Eyes is good. I'm st Although, I'm, I think people are overhyping the card, personally. I don't think... I just don't think Wavering Eyes is a shitty card. Like, is, I'm not saying wavering guys so fucking much. This is a post com episode, guys, obviously. And Skype keeps fucking up the connection it, between me and Daniel on the call. So I keep sounding like a fucking robot, meaning we have to stop the video, have to end the call, redo the fucking call, go back to the point where the video was on the unlisted video on YouTube to fucking find that again. Say, all right, three, two, one, start, and then start the thing again. Yeah, we keep on doing it over and over and over and over. This, this this one does not want to record at all. Skype's just like, nah, nah, you want to get this one done so you're ahead? Fuck you, you can be last minute. Like, no. We're going to soldier on Skype, whether you like it or not. Fuck you. Wow, and it's clearly seeing, it looks like maybe we're seeing a towers? kind of a tower. Yeah. yeah, a little bit tower turbo. Not that it's that useful against... Uh... Electrum. Electrum, OTS, Electrum, okay, Electrum oh. doesn't really give a fuck about your towers. It's like, oh, nice towers you got there. Yeah, I'm just going to burn you to death. Yeah. Let's see what your tower says about that. Ryan opened up really well. Not only did he open up a scout, he opened up Wavering Eyes and a Summoner's Heart. Like, really well. Yeah. He opened up fucking, mm, fantastically. Mm hmm. It's just not that useful against uh, Electrum Rusty K. Not at all, not at all. No. Nope. But, uh, we show anything towers, so. Ryan is saying no effect to uh, the carrier, which is totally fine. Mm-hmm. wonder why. I guess he'd rather go ahead and kill the monster instead of bouncing it to his hand. No, no, tower effect, so he's going to leave it to Slate. Go ahead and choose, so uh, if that's a monster... To get rid of that monster or show him your hand? Yep. Well, I mean, he has to get rid of the monster. Yeah, he has to get rid of the monster. Ah. But whether he wants to get rid of the monster in his hand, if that's a monster in his hand, or he wants to get rid of set monster, nope. I had to go ahead and just get rid of that set monster. And it's a claim. <laughs> you that afraid of my face down? No, that's just called getting rid of your resources. Because why the fuck wouldn't I want to poke you in the face for three thousand? Yep. Okay, here comes Giant Fist. Nope. Ryan's just gonna go ahead and play that thousand and draw a card. And as you can see, Ryan is lower on life points. Mm-hmm. So meaning Slate can get punched in the face. Ryan went ahead Wait, and... does towers have arms? I don't believe so. I think it's a giant airship. Or is it just like a giant structure? It's a giant structure. It's an airship. So oh, man. Why is, it, why, is it with, why is it with all the monsters with no arms punching people in the face? T-King, towers? <laughs> oh, my God. So, there we go. So, monolith effect. Oh, yeah. I'm just lovely. Hmm. Oh, uh, I mean, we still haven't seen the fill spell. Hey. Okay. I think Slate thinks he's about talking about something else. I think he's talking about Monolith, and I guess he's just trying to be anal about it. A rule shot? Oh, well, he's no. trying I'll to rule shot it. I'll let the cheat go. Okay, sure. Slate? No, that's, that's, not, that's not cool, man. 
like, who, you're like, no. Doesn't matter. Hitting the unturned button is hitting the unturned button, so monolith effect is monolith effect. I said, yeah. I don't see Cleese that often on here, so I don't really don't know what you wanted from. I guess you wanted him to click the end phase button. End phase and then draw and then go enter. And I guess. I, mean, I guess. I mean, it's does it really it's make fucking, that no, much it's fucking difference? You you click whatever button. You can do all your plays and draw a phase. It doesn't matter. You won't click buttons like that. It's fine. No. Anyway, I am not sure if we're gonna be seeing uh, anything at this point. Probably. Well, considering there's like, what, four minutes left in the video? Probably not. Alright, so chicken game pay a thousand draw. Play another chicken game pay a thousand draw. Don't, I don't. <laughs> I swear to God, I hate chicken game. I hate the cards so much. Yeah. I, I, I literally wanted to take out of my tower here back in Cleese. Like I said, I'm, I'm stepping away from tower Dur turbo. I'm not playing it anymore. No, you're going more defensive route now. It's the better choice. Yeah, I guess. Everybody being all aggressive now with fucking Fernoids and and fucking and Cosmos and Necros and everybody being all installed, everybody being aggressive, man. Let me just go ahead and flip that loser turn on you, bitch ass. GG. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Oh, when that fucking Monarch Dominion field spell comes out, oh my god. Hey, oh yeah. And I said, Don't I, worry. I really do want to try out maybe some a little bit of Klee Monarch. Like, not the Monarch monsters, but like the Monarch spells and traps, just because Klee's had them stats. Yeah. So you can play like the fucking Searcher card with it, like reveal a monster with 2400 attack, zero defense, or 2800 attack, zero defense, and search for a Monarch spell or trap. 1000 1, yeah. defense. Yeah. yeah. 1000 defense, and search for a Monarch spell or trap. You can get the fucking. Skill drain, the filled spell, the, filled the, skill drain. Cell, the it... monarch storm forth. Like, there's so much good shit. Mhm. Mm so. Yeah, monarchs definitely have some pretty good uh, spells nowadays. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and we're seeing the Stratus. So, of course, OCG heroes. It's like is allowed to use Stratus. So, Stratus effect. Go ahead and search. Wait a minute. And this looks like this is way of they are fucking up. <laughs> so, all right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So to clearly see, we're we're getting some fuck ups here. Yeah. Uh, so he says Stratus effect, and then clicks right in his back row. And of course, as we know, no. yeah, as course as we know, it's destroy spells and traps. You have to have up heroes to here. other yeah. than Stratos. So this is where I paused. Sorry for the jump there, because I had to go ahead and pause the video and then correct that. So and tell him no. So, which is dumb, because at this point, in Slate is like, all right, then I'll just see my other effective surge. But then Ryan already revealed his background, which clearly was another Summoner's Art. So obviously, if Slate can go off with the Electrum at 2K, he doesn't even have to worry about that background, because he already knows yeah. what it is. And knowledge is power. Like, wow. Like, you guys actually forgot about shadows <laughs> like that, that hard. Hey, he's been locked up that long. <laughs> <laughs> he's been locked up so long that all the hero players have forgotten about anything that except for the fact that he searches. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And still, it looks like uh, Slate does not have it. Yeah, the look on that face on that emoto card. Aww. And yeah. the game over. Yeah, the game over probably signified it more. Yeah. Just saying. So, so, uh, I mean, no offense, Slate, but where is this FTK? Every single time you have used this, this time... I've seen him do it once. I've seen him, not FTK, but o the OTK. I've seen him do it once versus the Mega Chaos on the first time he used it. I mean, didn't he, wait, didn't he already have a Bubble Man in his hand? I think he did. So why did you search for an additional Bubble Man? You could have just went Summon Stratos, no effect, Special Summon Bubble Man, XC and Excalibur, Detach two, attack over the towers. Not that I'm saying they would have won you the duel, but you could have at least got over the towers. Like, yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, anyway, people, there we go. It's over. So, uh, the Cowboy Dragon slash Ryan gets another point, and once again, it looks like the heroes, it's no win, no win, nope. not even I one. I, I think, think he, I think heroes... I've. It's one That's the duel. last time Slate can use heroes because, you know, obviously next week, yep, can't use it. Can't use it. So, so, 
Slate's gone, what, the entire league used heroes about for, what, three or four times, and... No one, no match wins. I think it won. No uh, I, win, I think it's won a duel. He won versus a. He won. I know we definitely won one uh, game versus Mega Chaos. Uh, it was game two on the very first time that they duelled. I think it was on the first week even. Mm -hmm. uh, Slate used heroes. And Mega Chaos used. Um, God, what was it? Emerald X. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Omega took game one. Game two, Slate got him with the Electrum FTK. Well, OTK. It wasn't FTK. And. Um, then a game for ages, and Omega closed it out, and just that was it. Yeah, so won a game, but never won a match. So hopefully, Slate can at least make it to the playoffs. I think playoffs. that's more than what Kyle's done, to be fair. Damn. <laughs> Actually, talking to, no, talking to Kyle. I Actually, you know has, what to tell you the truth. I don't think he has won a game, has he? Kyle's never won a game. Kyle has zero points. Wow. But Slate's not much off. I mean, Slate has won one duel. In this entire league so far, this is the week say it won one duel, and I believe uh, it was he was using his. I think it was Dustin's versus some tier two deck. Got, he got two points, and then won a game off of the fact that Kyle didn't show up and got one point off of that, and that's the reason why Slate has three that's points. Three so points. Slate yeah. is not so doing anything. much better, not much better. Yeah. But hopefully, I mean, luckily he's in the same division as Kyle, who's won nothing. And at this point... Oh, he's, at least he's going to get through to the playoffs. He's going to get through the playoffs. So hopefully Slate can do better in the playoffs. But he's going to have to work. You know, there's definitely going to be no body league. Because obviously he's going to have to twerk it. Yeah, twerk he's going to have to twerk it. Not only uh, at this point, the way it's looking, not only does Slate Especially have to since the, beat... Since Slate's, uh, in the toughest, uh, Slate's definitely in the toughest division out of all of them. Because he's got, in his division, he's got Stu and Omega Chaos who have... Respectively, well, still has the second most points in the league, and Omega Chaos has the most points in the yeah. league. So, so not only do you have to get through Stu, but you have to get through Omega, and then you have to go ahead and beat no, the divisional no champion of the YCS yeah. division for the championship. So Slate, you got a you got a lot of uh, big you got a bit on of a you. mountain to climb. You right got there, a buddy. mountain to climb. So anyway, so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I uh, apologize. Like I said, we allowed Slate. To, you guys allowed it. We all allowed it. Slate is, of course, allowed to use the heroes. And whether they do well or not is not our problem, but his. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, there you go. This is the end of week six. So, one more week, people. We are in the last week, week seven. And that's it. That's, it. that's, it. that's yeah. the end of the, the regular season. All the points will be tallied up. And I will go ahead and uh, give... I'm not sure if I'm going to split up into one video or two. But I'm definitely going to go ahead and tell <laughs> you guys the end of week seven. And uh, how the playoffs will work. And who's in the playoffs. So All we right, are almost so, done. Yep, that's pretty much it now. Yep, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this week six. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. And uh, thank you, Stanzi, for joining me like usual. No problem. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys in week seven. Thanks for watching.